What is going on nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy Stevie B with my latest haul video. Got quite a bit today. I mean, uh, Midtown was, man, there was a bunch of books I had to get, but I also got some other stuff, you know, for my, for the, uh, from eBay for the old PC and stuff like that. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, it was a, definitely a much larger haul than usual from, uh, from Midtown and Midtown's getting on top of their shipping man I'm I'm getting impressed they they got you know they're getting me my books used to not come till Mondays and they're showing up on Saturday which is you know major kudos to you guys if I don't know if it's just because the slowdown now the holiday the holidays are over or or what's going on with it but i ain't complaining I can get them I can get them before the weekend's over that is awesome um but anyway, let's go through the we'll go through the Midtown stuff real quick because you know it's the same stuff everybody else is getting. But um, anyway, we got uh, first up Harley Quinn the animated series uh, number what is it five? I think it's five. Yeah, five. Um, of all the there are very few of the Bat books that I'm still that I'm hanging on to that I'm still liking. This is one of them. I, I'm digging the animated series books the animated series itself uh not so much not so much um it it yeah i wasn't a real fan of that I, i'm i'm still gonna watch season three if they ever release it sometime this year um but not not a big fan i, I say all these bat books that that you know i'm collecting that um but yet here i am first three right off the top bat books <laughs> But um, next one up is another one that I, I am liking and I'm staying on is Batman Ur Urban Legends number 11. And we've, you know, we got the bat dog there. Look at there. Uh -huh. You know, and they're they're doing that Super Pets movie now, which I'm kind of on the, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm digging on that or not. Um, but there you go. I forgot. And they hit me up in the comments. I forgot what Batman's dog's name was. Because it didn't, uh, it'll probably come to me in the middle of the video. I'll be going, oh, and then we got it, and they, oh, ah, it's this. But that's how it usually works. <laughs> and the next bat book that, you know, I'm going to slow down and quit collecting. <laughs> uh, I'm such a hypocrite, man. I'm such a hypocrite. I ain't just talking about it. I'm quitting buying these Batman books. But then here we go. Oh, I got to have that one. Just this one. A lot of them are just run fillers. that are just are filling or finishing out like like minis and stuff. But um, anyway, next up got Batgirls number two. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea why I'm picking these up. I, I'm I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably not gonna get any more of them. Uh, they just kind of fall flat. Um, but yeah, Ryan Gonzalez on the cover of that. It's kind of a cool cover, I won't lie. But uh, who knows? Get that off her. Uh. All right, next up, out of the Batman books, got Justice League versus Legion of Superheroes. And uh, this is uh, number, what the hell number? Um. I don't know what number this is. Or is it a one shot? I can't remember. I, I don't know why, why I remember why I picked it up, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, um, anyway, yeah, Justice League versus Legion of Superheroes. It's a number one, I'm sure, but I don't know if it's a one shot. I don't think so. But uh, I'm not sure why I picked that up. Something made me pick that up, but it's... Um, I think it's just because it's Justice League versus Legion superheroes. I think it's cool. Next up, um, I'm digging the... Uh, these are like total cover buys for me. I'm not going to even lie. I am a Titans fan. I like the Titans. And and these, uh, these, uh, these covers with the... The uh, characters on the front, just, it's, you know, hot spotlighting each character... I'm really digging that. Um, so I'm getting all of these. They're total cover buys. But I just think they're really cool. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, the Hawk and Dove on that, that's just a nasty cover. 
and all of them are like that. So I'm, I'm getting them just to click, put the whole set with each Titan highlighted on there. And then this one I'm getting just because I want to get in on the ground floor because it's a character I do like. Um, I think this is just going to be a mini, but I want to get in on some Daredevil because I do like Daredevil. Um, and I kind of, I don't like, I don't like being late to the party on these. I like to find a good starting point, but I'm going to start with the Daredevil Woman Without Fear. Uh, I know that's not Daredevil. I know it's Electra, everything, but I, I'm going to pick these up because I'm kind of curious about this. Kind of interests me, but, um, oh, and this is also the first appearance of Akka. Not sure who that is, but it's it's a first appearance. It's Aka, but next up, and this one, uh, Devil's Reign, the Superior Four. I kind of dig this, but you know, um, I forget who it is. It's it makes up the Superior Four, Doc Ock, and oh, it's just slipping my mind right now. Anyway, it sounded intriguing, so I'm gonna pick them up, uh, give them a read, see if I like them. But and the thing number three, I'm pretty sure this was a mini as well. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna finish uh, finish it. I may just pick up the first five and then call it a day because I'm not really digging on them that much. But try to give them at least five. Try to give them at least five books uh, to you know to. You know, you got to give it a chance before you decide to ditch it. But um, next up is this uh, Nyx. I believe this is number two. It's a virgin variant, so I can't remember. Is it number two or three? But of course. Anyway, there's the cover. And, of course, it's not going to be on the back because that would have been too easy. <coughs> I'm going to say it's number two. <coughs> and I'd be wrong. So, of course, I'm wrong. It's number three. So, Nick's number three. Um, I can't help it. This is These books are reminiscent of the old, uh, you know, as, as Boss Kong calls them, uh, the old 90s bimbo books. <laughs> but I... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I like the. Uh, I really dig the 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 bim, '90s bimbo books. So this is kind of one of those things. But that just I don't know. This looks this interests me. So cool with it. And next up, a new uh, new release from Spawn Universe, and this has got all of them in it. But it is uh, Scorched or the Scorched number one. I'm kind of curious to see what which one of these <coughs> books is the breakout star. Because one of them is going to be. I was thinking that it might be Gunslinger. But this has got Gunslinger, She Spawn, um, and Spawn, and uh, a couple of the others in it. But um, So I'm kind of curious as to which one you th is going to be the breakout on this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think is going to be the breakout book? Or do you think all of them are going to fall flat? Who knows? And this is another Batman book that I that I'm uh, that I am uh, I'm staying on because I I, I kind of dig these. These were pretty good, uh, but it's Robin and Batman number three. But uh, I'm liking these. So, but that is that is my Midtown haul. As you can see, it's a pretty big one. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot of uh, you know major events going on in it or nothing I would call you know a key uh, a key book but uh, but just some really just some good books for the PC so but next up we've got my eBay pickups and then let's face it this is what y'all really came to see right what in the hell crap is Stevie B picking up now. So let's just get the let's just get the not the non fun ones out of the way, and this is going to do it for the Crisis on Infinite Earths collection. This finishes it off. 
number three, and number nine, which is Guy Gardner becomes the the Green Lantern, which they should have just left alone because we all know that was the best Green Lantern. Guy Gardner was the man. But anyway, so this completes, that puts that one to bed. Crisis on Infinite Earths, check. See what we're going to work on next. And then next up, well, this is part of one of the ones I'm going to work on. Um, they're a little pricey still, so I'm, I'm kind of, the, the, one, the main ones are. But I had to have this one start with. It wasn't that pricey, and it's foil. Kind of love the foil goodness, man. And it's a flip cover, so I got two choices of covers, but I like this one. But this one is um, Spider-Man number 51. And this is uh, when Ben Riley's identity is revealed. So this is the other... Uh, so this is my new quest, is to get the uh, Scarlet Spider stuff. The keys, the Scarlet Spider keys, because I think that's kind of probably be uh, another one that's going to become a big thing. They're already kind of pimping out um, Ben Riley stuff more and more in the Spider-Man titles. So I think this, usually when they do that, they're building to something. So I'm thinking maybe this is a good, these would be good ones to kick up, pick up. But the, you know, the first appearance of Ben Riley is, uh, up there around near that hundred dollar mark and s same with a with a web of spider-man 118 it's uh, they're up there close to that hundred dollar mark not easy to get but i got that one so it's a start and this one um i just picked up because i just i loved the cover of this it was it was great and it was and i dig these what if books and this was in such pristine condition. This thing is 1977, and it looked like it straight up just rolled out of the press. It is a gorgeous book, but um, had to have it. Um, this is uh, the uh, What If number seven. What if someone else besides Spider-Man had been bitten by the radioactive spider? And it's tales of what if, you know, of... Uh, uh, John Jameson, Flash Thompson, and uh, Betty Brandt. So it's kind of a first appearance of a Spider Girl, to be honest. So Betty Brandt was a was the first time I think that that they ever made a spe female version of Spider Man. So it's kind of a cool little minor key, probably nothing big, but the condition on that thing is just gorgeous. And I got it for I got it for a steal. So. I mean, I had to have it. It was just, it was a gorgeous book. I wanted, I had to have it. So, um, but yeah, there you go. So what's my next spec book, I guess you'd say? Um, technically not a spec book because he's already kind of caught fire, but Ben Riley and, you know, is, is already kind of, you know, there's no more spec on him really. It's, it, he's already kind of there. Um, so it's just a matter of more of a pick them up before the price gets out of hand because I kind of want them for my collection. So, and there's a lot of books, you know, out there. I, I get a kick out of, you know, some of the top 10, you know, key books you should be specking on. And, they, and then you go pull it up and it's got Amazing Spider-Man 300. And, and, and you're going, no shit, really? That one might might just be popular, huh? But, yeah, but I'm thinking... Um, yeah, that, that's no longer falls under the category of a spec one. That, that one's kind of made it, you know. So, um, my my idea of a, a spec book is is one that really just kind of still under the radar and nobody expects expects it to do anything, and then you know, boom, it takes off like a, like that the hob or the hobgoblin, like the Spider Man doppelganger. That you know that that book isn't worth a whole lot of money, but it's a good spec book and I love to spec spec is speculation is I don't spec for value I spec for fun I I I, I think it's awesome to be right you know <laughs> to grab a book that you that isn't worth anything and and you know and say you know 
based on based on what you your opinions and you know and information you know about characters you you jump on it and then and then it hits it just feels good it's an awesome feeling it makes it fun it's like gambling you know so and it makes it twice as sweet when you when you pull a book out of a bar out of a dollar bin and out, as a spec and it just explodes it, it just makes it a lot of fun for me I, I i really dig that that aspect of collecting um i know some people frown on spec but i think the people that frown on spec are the ones that 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 uh that do it for monetary reasons and i don't really do it for monetary reasons you know i, I do it because it's books that i think are cool and are and they go in my pc and and i just i just curious am i right about this one did, is my it, well, you know is my intuition correct and did i did i pick a good one and when i do it's awesome when i don't it's super sons <laughs> anyway anyway that is gonna do it for this video if i would appreciate it before you go if you'd like subscribe and turn that bell on so you don't miss the next episode but i'm gonna get out of here it is my day off and i'm tired and I want to go to bed but appreciate y'all stopping by um y'all be good we'll see you in the next video peace